the legs in here. So again, that same idea, lift the waist up back, just lift the back all the way down, maybe keep them there, I don't know. Kind of a stand and fall. Right hand towards the left ankle. Hi, I'm Deandria and welcome back to my channel. Today's workout is going to be an energetic, non-stop 15 minute Pilates flow to get your heart pumping and your core fired. So let's go ahead and begin. So we're gonna start out at one end of your mat and just begin with a big stretch up towards the ceiling and release those arms down. So inhale, stretching up, lengthen through your spine, reaching through those arms and lower back down. This time we're gonna reach, take a big stretch up, a little extension through the spine, a little arch, and then let's roll down. So chin to chest, keep your knees soft and roll all the way down to the mat. Planting your hands down, you're walking yourself out about three to four steps out into a plank, and then walk your hands back in. Roll yourself up, take a big stretch to the ceiling. And again, chin to chest, roll down, walk yourself out. Four steps and you're in that plank, abdominals in. And then walk yourself back up, keeping your legs straight. And then roll yourself up. One more time, big stretch up. And then roll all the way down. Walk yourself out to that plank. Nice, separate your feet about hips distance, abdominals in. And then lift your hips to the ceiling to a hike. And then transition back into that plank, good. And again, lift those hips, downward dog and back to that plank. This time, lift your hips up to downward dog, stay there. So my hips are high, abdominals engaged, and then you're gonna pump your heels, lift and lower, and up, and press, and lift, and press. For three, little stand, little footwork here, and one. Lift the heels up high, then from there, send your hips back, like you're headed to a squat, like to a chair behind you, and then straighten the legs. Again, bend the knees and straighten your legs. So just a little variation on some standing footwork here. Also starting to activate those shoulders for three and two. I'm just sending my hips back and up. And last one, hips high, and then pedal the legs. So I'm sinking my heels down, bend one knee, and switch, and switch. So now checking in with my upper body, I'm pressing firmly into both palms, feeling the shoulder blades glide away from my ears, shifting that weight back. All right, a few more pumps. Just waking up those legs, those feet and ankles, and lift both heels, and lower down to your knees. All right, from here, set up with hands directly under the shoulders, Knees under the hips, and then exhale, round the spine, tuck the head, tuck the tail, and then release. Look out and open through your chest. And again, exhale, round, head and tail curl under, and then release. Two more, waking up that spine, and release. And last one, tuck the head, tuck the tail, feel those abdominals deepen in, and release it down, good. From there, draw the abdominals in. Extend your right arm out and your left leg back, hold. And lower down, other side, lengthen out, squaring off shoulders and hips. And lower down. From there, hands on the mat, draw those abdominals in nice and strong, curl your toes under, push away from the mat and just float your knees off the mat for five, four, three, two, and lower down. All right, let's begin some of our more traditional Pilates flow. So plant your feet on the mat, arms extend out in front of you, you're gonna curl your tailbone under and roll back halfway. See if you can pause there. Find that scoop in those abdominals, keeping that C shape in your spine, and then start to roll yourself back up. And again, hips down underneath you. Find that C shape, gaze at the abdominals, pause, and start to roll back up. We're gonna hold the next one. So roll it back, hips down under, stay there for four, three, two, and come all the way up. Now on the next one, if you need to, you can take your hands behind your thighs, but otherwise, arms reach forward, hold it back. So we found that C shape again. Find that kind of hollowing of the lower abs and lift one leg up and place it back down. Now alternate sides. 
see when you lift that leg if you can keep your upper body stable, right? That's part of the challenge. Now, if this is too much, maybe you're just lifting your foot a few inches from the floor, right? It doesn't have to be a big lift. Let's do four more. So think of bringing the leg toward your core, toward your abdominals. And last one, grab those thighs, come all the way back up. Good, arm stretch out one more time. This time roll all the way back. You're gonna stop when you come to the tips of your shoulder blades. Resist it back, resist it back, resist it back. Stay curled, bring your legs into tabletop position and start pumping those arms for the 100. Breathing in through the nose. Exhale all the air out. I'm gonna rotate my legs out so they look like a frog. We're gonna play with the variation of the legs as you keep pumping, right? I'll talk you through it. So extend those legs out slowly to a 45 degree angle. Keep pumping and then bend those knees back in. And again, reach those legs out long. Keep pumping those arms. Resist and bend in. So keep going with the breath. Keep going with the motion of the legs. Definitely some coordination going on in this exercise, right? Last two. Keep those arms pumping. Now hold those legs out there. You have two more sets of pumps. Zipping up the thighs, heels squeezing together. Use the breath and bend the knees. Rest your head down. All right, legs extend out now, nice and long on the mat. Arms stretch out overhead, full roll up. I'm gonna glue my legs together for a little bit more of a challenge. Inhale, lift the head. Start to curl that spine, roll forward and reach and then roll back, legs stay long, lower on the mat. Again, inhale, lift the head, curl that spine, stretch forward. There's always that sticky spot, right? Where it's a little bit more challenging to roll up. That's where we wanna work from. Inhale, lift, take your time, use the breath. Breathe through that challenging spot and then roll back and down. Final one, inhale, lift, curl and reach and then stay there. Grab a hold of your left leg, lift it up. Now, take out that roundness of the spine. Pull your chest up to your toes, point and flex the foot. Point and flex. Square off those hips. And then find your balance here. See if you can let go of the leg. Abdominals in, hold for four. Stay upright through the spine, three, two. Now keep the leg long, and then you slowly roll the torso down. And as the head comes down to the mat, kick the leg up. Let's go into single leg circles. Reach that leg across the body first, around and up. We're gonna go for six circles. So I have stable hips, back of the ribs on the mat. So everything else is glued to the mat but this leg. Two, and one. Now change directions with your circle. Open up into the side, down and cross and up. Two, over and lift. You have two more. And lift. Now grab the back of the thigh. Inhale, lift the leg. Start to walk up that leg for tree. Come all the way up to the top, lift the chest. And then with control, float that leg back down. Good, all right, other side. Lift the leg up, point and flex the foot, chest lifted to your toes. And then find your stability here in your hips. Let go, reach forward, abdominals in. Curl your tailbone under so the leg reaches out, reaches out, reaches out as you roll it back. That leg goes up to the ceiling, six circles, reach across for six and up. So I have the back of my shoulders, back of the ribs glued to the mat. Two more this direction. And switch it up, open, down, across and up. So the work is when you go across the opposite leg. Last two. And one, all right, grab the back of the thigh for tree. Lift the head, lower the leg a little bit to make room for you to come all the way up, 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 up. Find that balance here, lift your chest, let go of the leg, and float it back down. Awesome, bend those knees and bring yourself to the top of your mat. Hands come to the ankles, drag your heels into your hips, rounding your spine. Rolling like a ball is what it's called. So we're gonna come into that rounded shape, elbows out and then rock it back, exhale, rock up. Good, so we are a ball shape, right? Balls are not flat, so round the spine and curl through, good. Inhale, roll back, exhale, rock up. 
Each time you want to find that balance at the top. That's part of the challenge here. Two more. And last one, come to a balance at the top. I'm shifting both hands over to my right leg, left leg shoots out. Push against the shin, right? I have one hand ankle, one hand knee. I'm pushing down on my shin and resist, resist, resist. Roll it back to the tips of your blades, hold it there. Then change legs, push down on your shin. See if you can roll up with the same amount of control, a little bit more challenging. So push on the shin, curl through, Woo. stay on that leg. Roll it back, resist it back, resist it back. Top of the tips of your blades, change legs, push down on the shin, see if you can control it up to the top. Awesome. Stay there, slowly roll it back. We're gonna stay back this time for single leg stretch, changing legs, and switch, and switch. So I am lifted and lengthening my legs out from the hip. And change, four, Three, two, stay with me. We're going into double leg stretch. Head stays up, float your arms back and your legs reach out. Exhale, pull it in tight. So lengthen out as far as you can go. Reach like you're being pulled in two different directions and then pull it right back in. And again, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. And exhale, pull it in. Let's go for one more, but we're gonna stay there. Arms back, legs out. Tap those heels together. Little heel beat, stay curled. Four, three, Two, one, bend the knees, lower your head down for a moment. All right. I am warm. I hope you are warm as well. Okay, be sure to listen to your body though as we go through these exercises. Legs stretch up, head lifts. Scissors, pull the right leg in, drop the left leg, then give this leg an extra tug. Pull while this leg stays steady. And then change legs. Pull, pull, change. So get the stretch but also that abdominal curl, bringing the leg towards you. Now, if those hamstrings are just all open today, go on up towards your ankle or even your foot. Pull, pull, and pull, pull. Last set, one more each side. We're gonna keep flowing to the next one for lower lift. Take both legs up, hands on the back of your head. Don't let those shoulders drop though, we're still lifted. Inhale, lower your legs. I'm not even gonna go halfway, drag up. I'd rather you focus on keeping those lower abdominals engaged and not arching your back and making this like a hip pull exercise. We're working those lower abdominals, those transverse abdominals here, right? And lower, drag and lift, stay curled. Last two, keep it small. Last one, drag and lift. We're still going though, bend your knees and keep your knees glued together. Lift through the center, twist to the left. Did your hips shift? Try to keep them down. Come up through center, go to the other side. Come up through center, over to the other side. Don't move those hips. Up through center, over to the other side. Up through center, now we'll stay there. Send your right leg out, can you twist a little bit more? And then up through center, other side. Up and over. Take armpit to knee, not just elbow to knee. I want you to lift and twist. Lift and twist. You have one more set, left and right. And release it all down. Lower your feet, take a twist with the knees. Twist, quick twist. Twist quick. Quick twist each direction. And back to center. Rock it on up. Yes, yes. Okay. So we're going to lie down on our right side. I'm bringing my elbow directly underneath my shoulder. Look, time check here. Elbow under the shoulder and lifting my waist away from the mat. So I'm not hanging out in the shoulder. Waist is lifted. Pick up both feet, bring them to the front corner of your mat. Okay, so propped up strongly here. Top leg lifts, kick this leg forward, point the toes, reach back. And again, flex, kick forward, and point the toes back. Some sideline hip work here. If you want, the other arm can come onto the hip, working balance a little bit more. And reach, and, and length. The last one, we're flowing this one into a circle. So take it back. How high can you lift it, bring it around and down? Now, don't sacrifice the stability in your shoulder here for the circle, you hear me? So, stable here, and take the leg as high as it'll go. Reverse those circles. Kick forward, go up, reach back, stay lifted in your waist. And again, forward, lift up, reach back. Two more. Using the breath, last one, and around. 
Okay, we are staying on our forearm. Take your top leg forward on the mat, okay? And legs are straight. Lift yourself up into a side plank from here. So again, that same idea, lift the waist even more than you did before, top arm to the ceiling. Maybe even smile, because you're enjoying it. Hold for four. Use the breath, three, two. Now let's take a twist. Take that arm under, ring out the spine, and open. It's just four rotations. We've got two more, use the breath. Twist, and last one. Twist, and open. Hold it there for four, lift those hips higher. Three, two, and lower it all down. All right, from there, sweep around to the other side. Come onto your forearm. Again, waist lifted from the mat, feet to the front corner, and kick and point reach back. And kick. So the upper body is stable. And there might be a little bit of movement dancing in those hips, but that's cool. It's more about keeping your core nice and steady and getting some mobility in those hips. You have two more of these. Proud open chest. Now take that one, that last one, swing it back, bring it up all the way around without sacrificing the upper body. Three more. And two. And last one. Change, all right? Kick front, go up, press back and down. Size of the circle is up to your hips today, yes? But we wanna keep them flexible and strong. Last one. And down, all right. Double check that elbows under your shoulder. Waist lifted, I'm gonna bring my top foot forward and lift to that side plank. Top arm up, lift your waist, hold. I'd like to envision like a rainbow or like a, even an exercise ball underneath my waist here, lifting me up. And now do those four twists. Ring out and open. Keep your legs stable, twist your spine. Solid through that base arm, two more. Last one, lift up. High hips for four, three, use the breath, two, and lower yourself down. All right, come to seated on your mat. And in this direction, we're going with hands behind the thighs. Rock your hips back and lift your legs up. Find a balance here. Let go, reach forward, hold it. And then slowly roll back, working the backward side of the teaser. Take your time, roll back, roll back, roll back, rest the head. We're gonna keep our legs in tabletop. Inhale, lift your head, use the breath. Exhale, roll all the way up. If you're feeling fancy, feel like you can do it, extend those legs out to straight. Keep them there, roll down from your legs. Resist it back, resist it back, resist it back, bend the knees. All right, inhale, lift the head. Exhale, come all the way up. Again, extend those legs if you're ready. Arms still reaching forward, resist it back, resist it back, resist it back, all the way down. Maybe keep them there, I don't know. And last one, inhale, lift the head, come all the way up, find your balance there for four. Use the breath, three, two, let's stop, lower those feet down, nice. Let's do a little extension work. Flip over onto your abdominals, those strong abdominals you've been working. Now let's go into swan. So the variation today, we're gonna lower the legs down, neck is long, and I am using my hands slightly, right? A light press into the hands, open up the chest, extend and lift and then lengthen and lower down. This time extend and lift. Be sure to keep your feet down and then float your hands off the mat. Hold it and lower everything down. Again, hands remain down, extend and lift, chest open. Now how high can you stay up when you remove your hands? That kind of tells you how much you're using your arms, right? And again, extend and lift, hold it, lift up the hands. From there, arms fly out to a T position. I'm gonna float my hands back over my hips, and then lower the chest arms to the side. And again, extend and lift, reach back. So in this one, we tend to throw our neck back a lot, right? So just think of keeping your gaze forward, neck long, and lower. Last one, reach back, hold, lift, and lower down. From there, gather all the strength up in those arms, your core, and push yourself up to a plank. Abdominals in, and we are up, and hold. Three, Fix the shirt, two. Now bend your elbows, lower halfway down, hold for four. You can also do this on your knees. Three, two, press it back up, hold it for four. Three, two, lower halfway down, hold it there for four, abs in. Three, two, you got two more, let's do this, hold. Three, 
two, halfway down, hold it there for four, three, two. Can you do one more with me? You got this for four, three, two, halfway down, hold it there for four. Abs in, three, two, Woo! push it up. Okay, lift those hips and separate your feet as wide as your mat. Take a breath. Walk back enough so that your heels actually drop. And we need to do a twist. So let's do like kind of a standing saw. Right hand towards the left ankle. So I want you to reach past it. And then back to the mat. And again, reach past it. So as I'm doing this, I'm keeping my hips squared. And I'm feeling the spine do the rotation. So you get that lovely stretch to the back of your leg as well. This time reach, grab a hold of it and look underneath your arm. It's okay if your knees are bent, right? But it's more important to keep your hips squared and then work the rotation from there. And release that arm, other side. So first start with the saw, square off your hips, reach past the ankle, and then back. Reach and back. Two more, reach and back. Last one, grab the ankle, calf, whatever, pants, whatever you can grab and twist. Keep pushing both hips back, find that nice rotation. And release your arm, walk your hands back to your feet, bend your knees, just take a nice little hang there, and roll all the way up, good. And then finishing with a nice standing balance, take your legs into parallel, arms up overhead, abdominals engage, and then balance here on the balls of the feet. Standing nice and tall, letting your shoulders drop and then release your arms down. Woo. I hope you enjoyed that workout. Just a quick, energetic 15 minute Pilates flow. Thank you for joining me today. And please leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this workout and possibly share it with a friend, right? Pass the love on. And don't forget to subscribe, click the bell so you can hear about each workout every week. And uh, let me know what else you wanna see. I will see you next time. Have a great day, bye-bye. Oh,